Joe's in Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe has a ball. Well, they are underway. Scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Who knows how long this one may last because Roy's opponent isn't built for a fight that can really go the distance. No, he's not. He's probably going to look like a guy running into the propeller of a plane. You know, he's going to come out so quick, he just might get torn up by those propellers, or in this case, those fast hands of Jones. And Roy blocks that punch. What a big shot, that hook right on the gut. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round, covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Right back to the gut. Johnson's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Commits to the straight right. Johnson's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Ten seconds to go in this round. There's another left hand from him. End of the round. And this is a little bit hard to take if you're sitting back at home watching this fight and saying, I, I just don't get it. I mean, if you want to win the fight, you have to throw punches. Maybe he doesn't want to win the fight. You're taking for granted that he's he scared, he's fearful. Hey, everybody's scared. Anyone who's in that ring is scared. He's not controlling his fear. He's not taking it. And that's for people in all aspects of life, whatever they do. You have to take whatever it is that can intimidate you, and you got to put it on the side and say, okay, right now, I'm not going to let that get in the way. He's letting it get in the way. Among some of the athletic exploits that have turned heads by Roy Jones Jr. is the fact that he's also a fairly decent basketball player, and he once played a professional basketball game by day, now granted in the minor leagues, and then a world title fight that very same night. He's a good athlete. He picked the right sport because I've had trainers tell me in the past, guys that I respect, if you're going to have a fighter who comes from another athletic background, let it be basketball because... Those physical sets of skills really parallel in some ways in a ring. That's a huge uppercut from Roy Jones Jr. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. There he goes with the right hand again. And that's the end of round two. Jones' commitment to being judicious and effective really worked out well there. The punch stats prove it. Number three is underway. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. A good block. Each man able to land an uppercut. 
Johnson's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. A singing uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. Roy Jones Jr. got to feel that right there. He was just tagged by a big uppercut. Right hand downstairs. Roy Jones Jr. has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Good fighting, snapping shot by Roy Jones. Blocks that punch. Johnson's left, landing well. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Jones' knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Johnson's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing, and the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Jones is up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished themselves to any great amount so far. Not precise at all by Roy Jones. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Good step back counterpunch there. Solid right hand lands from Meldrick Johnson. Halfway through round number four. Jones is doing well here with that two-punch combination. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Meldrick Johnson. Roy Jones Jr. is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Johnson's not the kind of guy that's going to float like a butterfly at all. He's more like an elephant just camped out. And he's getting stung by a lot of bees right now for camping out. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. And a good three-punch combo by Roy Jones. Combo lands to the head. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Meldrick Johnson. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that.
Good job snapping out that jab. You know, if you're watching Muhammad Ali, you know you need a jab to move on the outside. But if you're coming forward, you need a jab, and there's proof of it. Jones is doing everything he wants right now. What does his opponent need to do to counter this? Well, what he's got to do is start to throw punches. You know, the awkwardness, the unorthodox approach right now is throwing him off, and he's trying to think too much. Just roll down the middle. You know that old saying when a guy says, I'm seeing three guys now? You know, I, I, I got hurt, I'm seeing three guys. And what should I do, coach? Hit the guy in the middle. Just roll your punches down the middle. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. And round five comes to an end. Jones has got that accuracy, and it paid off in the last round. So with the start of this round, we've reached the halfway point. Be interesting to see what we're in store for down the stretch of this fight. Super jab by Johnson. Jones is putting forth a little boom, 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 a three-punch combination score. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Meldrick Johnson. What an impact that left hand just made by Johnson. Johnson's lack of defense right now is showing up. His opponent's scoring with the right hand consistently. Yes, he's found the target for that early on, and he's just staying with it. Nothing fancy. There's the combo to the body. Good exchange. He fires back. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Decide to trade there. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's gonna end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Johnson. Left to the body. There's the combo downstairs. Jones's hand speed right now, the difference with what we just saw, able to land that combination. Yeah, he's probably going to need a little bit more down the road, but right now, that's got him in front. at him with a left hand. Good combination to the body. Good look at right hand after he got hit. Halfway through the seventh round. And yet another right hand land. Both guys have a lot to be proud of with their performances in this round so far, and they still want to give more. What an encore in this final minute. If you were a kid, you would feel that you're on one of those rides at Space Mountain. I mean, it's just extraordinary. Turns on that exchange. Oh, 
His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. How about a return to sender with the left hand? He's been setting a really good pace here as we start round number eight. Teddy's scorecard, you can see that he's up there. Uh, you got to be careful, though, not to come off that gas pedal. Yeah, because you're right. There's a double-edged sword here. Not only careful because you've been scoring, but just by being aggressive, that is what's been keeping your opponent defensive minded. So as soon as you let up off that gas pedal, his hands are going to start moving. Right, and the judges will notice that right away if the other guy's working more. Well, obviously. Nice block by Johnson. Roy Jones Jr. has almost got like a Viper quality to it, doesn't he? He just gets in there, he attacks real quick, comes in, strikes before you know what hit you. Yeah, he's very quick, and that is his style. He likes to get in, do his damage, and get out. Right now, his opponent can't match him with that physical. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Big shot there. A devastating right hand crashes home, and he is down. Um. Jones Jr. hitting the deck but rising up. Well, when you drop your hands, you pull back, you do all those things, sooner or later there's a chance you're going to hit the deck. Now it's up to Jones to find a way to survive. He has found his groove with his right hand. Jones is starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. Now, this is exactly what I love out of offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet sign. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. job on the two-punch combo by Roy Jones. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Meldrick Johnson. Jones is able to avoid that punch. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. Johnson's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Hits him in the mug with the right. Roy Jones Jr.'s three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. Unable to connect by Roy Jones. Jones is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Johnson's got to deal with a cut cheek. Now he's just walking him back a bit there, up against the ropes. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter-punching. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. Roy Jones Jr.'s landed a good, solid combination. 
I like the way he looked at the end of that round. It looks like he's gaining some momentum here. Good competitive fight, and I do believe that he's up on the scorecards. Yeah, I have it the same way. Well off the mark by Johnson. Johnson's... Oh, Teddy, this has got to drive his trainer crazy because he's leaving himself wide open with these sweeping shots. Well, you talk about that old saying, leaving the barn door open and the horses are going to go out. Well, guess what? The punches, sooner or later, they're going to come in. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. And the razor-sharp uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Good-looking counterpunch. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Johnson. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Halfway through this 10th and final round. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Meldrick Johnson. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Good right hand. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Roy Jones. Solid straight right hand. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Jones is doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches and bunches. The combination lands. That was good stuff throughout. Which way did the judges lean? Let's send it up to the ring to find out. Jones's performance tonight was exactly what he was looking for. And it's exactly what the judges reward. Good, solid effort, a unanimous decision. Yeah, if he was a pitcher, he'd be getting a shutout right now. Almost.